Gus. That diving catch you made today, phenomenal. I did it for you, Jonah. And you made me proud. Maybe stop by the emergency room for a quick x-ray. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Gus. What's up? I think you're in trouble. I am? But not you. Why? What'd I do? I don't know. The vice principal wants to see you. What did you do? I don't know. Come with me. Sure. Do any of you know who that woman is? Let me put it another way. Do any of you who wish to graduate with the rest of your class know who that woman is? Yeah, I, I know who she is. I guess we're the smarter group. Uh, it's a baby giraffe. Look, group A's finest. We all stand together and we go over to the B side and we share our stuff with them. Who's with me? Nobody's with me. Hi, we're from Group A. Hey, this smell is driving us crazy. We're just gonna take these out for you. It's Group A forever. Run. All right, I'm an athlete now. It's about privilege. It's about one group thinking that they deserve more than another. Just because of the color of their wristband. But the people in Group A were better. Better at what? Good question. Gus! Finally! Where is everyone? They should be here by now. We start serving in 15 minutes. Gus. Yeah? <clears throat> yeah? You told people the fundraiser is today, right? Do you ever do that thing when you're typing an email and your mom shouts at you to clean the hamster cage and you shout back, it's Ryan's turn, and Ryan says, nah, -uh, and you say, uh huh, and Ryan says, nah, -uh, You didn't send the email? Nah, uh. So no one else on the team is coming? Kinda. We have to make and serve pancakes to 50 people! And bacon! Stop! Not helping! Start texting everyone you know, all your friends. We need help! Why did I just get a text from you? You said to text my friends. Your other friends! The ones that aren't here! They're all here. We need more pancakes and bacon. Those people are hungry. I just put some on. They're gonna have to wait. Well, hurry up. A husky kid just growled at me. I'm going as fast as I can. And my feet hurt. Suck it up, Gus. Cyrus, my hero. And Buffy, my savior. Do you still need me? Of course, we haven't even started busting those tables. Oh no. I think I'm getting a nosebleed. This thing is a disaster. Thank you for coming. The court will come to order. Wait, 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 wait! What is all that? Evidence. Actually, old phone books. It's an intimidation tactic that I learned on TV. I'm not letting you get kicked off the basketball team without a fight. We're all here. Let's begin. The court is in session. Lead counsel for the defense, Cyrus Goodman, Your Honor. You've retained counsel, Mr. Kippen. This is highly unusual. One moment. We'll allow it. Thank you, your honors. TJ, a complaint has been filed against you for grand theft golf cart. <laughs> Why don't you just tell us what happened? Well, I saw Buffy Driscoll limping across the athletic field and I wanted to help her. 
a testament to his character. So then I saw Mr. Bag's golf cart. Unclearly marked. And, you know, figured he wouldn't miss her for like 10 minutes. Only seven and a half, according to key witnesses. So I borrowed it to get Buffy to class on time. In accordance with the school's overly strict attendance policy, which I think we can all agree is a crime in and of itself. I think we have everything we need. We'll go think about this and we'll get back <clears> to <throat> Hold on, I'd like to call a witness. Mr. Goodman, you're showboating. Thank you for noticing, Your Honor. I call to the stand? Myself? I don't know. Mr. Goodman, where were you at the time of the alleged incident? Well, I wasn't there. But I know that TJ only did it to be a good friend. So you're a witness, but you didn't see the crime in question? I'm a character witness, sir. Can we speed this up? I don't think so. Will the defendant please rise? Not you, Mr. Goodman. I think you know me by now, Your Honor. We find the defendant, T.J. Kippen, guilty on all counts. The system is broken! We demand an appeal! Dude, stop fighting. I'll never stop. You did your best. But this part I have to face by myself. We hereby sentence you to the harshest punishment allowable by this court. I'm ready. Lunchtime detention on Monday. That's it? That's the harshest punishment you're allowed to give? Guys, it's just student court. We don't even have the authority to touch the thermostat in here. <sighs> Will you visit me while I'm on the inside? I'll bake you a cake with a hall pass in it. Court is adjourned. We have to get these robes back to the choir. <laughs>